Hey guys, welcome to the In-Depth Sonar YouTube channel. My name is Lauren, I'm your host, and today we're talking about the new Lowrance Eagle Eye, the new fish finder with live sonar that Lowrance has announced today. Eagle Eye 9 is part of Lowrance's entry-level series, the Eagle Products. This is a 9-inch screen, all-in-one unit that's easy to use and easy to install. It has live sonar, all for under $1,000 US. So to start the video off, we'll just talk a little bit about what this product is and some of the basic features on it, and then we'll go a little bit deeper dive as we go on. Near the end of the video, I'll share my thoughts and opinions on this product. So what is it? And why did Lowrance come out with this product? Well, this is live sonar for the week and angler at a competitive price. Now some of the most important features on this is it's fully integrated live sonar, chirp sonar, down scan imaging sonar with fish reveal, no sonar module is required and like I say that's all available for that under a thousand dollar price which is going to be $9.99 retail. And at that $9.99 retail price this is really a one-of-a-kind product. There's nothing else on the market that this even competes with. Here's a look at the sonar end of it, what you're gonna get, like I say, down scan with fish reveal, chirp sonar, the live view forward, and the live view down sonar. So those are four sonar views available in this one transducer. And again, no modules required. It'll plug right into the back of the unit. The unit also has embedded charts in it, and you can get a trolling motor or an optional transom mount. One thing to note on the live view and the down view is they cannot be viewed at the same time on a split screen. They'll be independent screens. As far as the charting goes on the Eagle i9, there's going to be two versions. The 999 version is just going to give you basic mapping for inland lakes. So if you don't really care too much about the mapping, that's probably the one to get. But if you do care a little bit more about mapping, you're going to be using it for navigation as well as finding fishing spots. You can upgrade for, I believe, it's around $50, and you'll get the America Sea Map bundle. So that'll include inland lakes in the U.S. as well as some smaller inland lakes and coastal waters of Canada. For a unit at this price point, it is pretty impressive, the whole complete sonar solution that it is. Eagle Eye includes high resolution live sonar views for down and forward, as well as chirp sonar, down scan imaging with fish reveal. So you're getting a whole lot on one transducer. Now I mentioned earlier you can't view the down and the forward at the same time, but the Eagle Eye live sonar view display can be changed between forward or down without moving the transducer. This has been something I've been asking these sonar manufacturers to do for years with their higher end live sonar products. So I think it's awesome that Lowrance has brought this feature into this entry level product and it actually just simplifies using the product. So I think it's a great job by Lowrance here. One other nice feature that they've brought into their entry level line on the Eagle products is the IPS screens. These screens are amazing in the daylight, even with polarized glasses and at certain angles where you're just the other screens would get washed out. This one is going to be bright all the time. This is awesome to have in their entry level product. So you can see in this slide here we have the eagle at the top, the brighter screen, and then the older hook reveal. So you can see the comparison there between the two. Lowrance is using this connect and cast terminology for their marketing and it really is true on this unit. There's twist lock connectors that the transducer and power cable just plug right into the back of the unit. No external module so installation is super easy. And then when you're out on the water the auto tuning sonar is going to basically do all the settings uh, for you based on the depth of the water you're in and the conditions you're facing. So this thing will take care of itself. So if we see how this Eagle i9 compares with some of the other products in the Lowrance line, this is an all-in-one solution. Everything is in the box that you need to basically buy it at the store and then go put it on your boat. If we compare that to the Elite FS or the HDS Pros, those are going to require an optional purchase of the Active Target 2 sonar module and transducer if you want to get live sonar on either of those models. So what is the difference between the live sonar that we have with Eagle Eye and Active Target 2? Well, it's actually exactly the same except for the coverage. So if you look at the pink beams coming off the Eagle Eye transducer on the left, you'll see those two pink beams on the Active Target as well. Well, there's also the green and the blue on Active Target 2. That is what we're not going to have in Eagle Eye. So we're just going to have those two beams, but the detail level is exactly the same as Active Target 2. Now Active Target 2 utilizes the three sonar arrays or beams, giving you a total coverage front to back of 135 degrees. This allows you to view live sonar in front of the boat um, all the way to about 45 degrees behind you. 
So with those exact same beams, you're just not getting the same coverage in the Eagle Eye. So here are some comparison shots of the Eagle Eye versus the Active Target 2. You can see in the forward at the top of the screen, you are getting much more coverage behind you, but Eagle Eye is allowing you to see what's in front of you just like Active Target 2. And then down again, it's just that narrower beam, more focused of what's directly below you rather than at what's further out to the sides on the down view. So other than the coverage area, the other difference between Active Target 2 and Eagle Eye is the connection. So Eagle Eye Transducer will connect directly into the unit. There's no module in between. And that's because there are fewer transducer arrays in the Eagle Eye Transducer. The Active Target 2 has uh, the three different arrays. So that's going to require the processing module in order to send that information to the unit. Here's a closer look at the Eagle Eye Transducer with the two live views that we've been talking about. But in addition to that, this can also generate the traditional sonar like chirp sonar and downscan imaging. So we're also going to get the benefits of having those two sonar beams in this transducer as well. So this live sonar may be treated a little bit differently than you would with an Active Target 2 because of that narrower beam. So in order to get your screen full of information and kind of come over a little bit of that beam angle, you're going to want to have your depth range set to the shallowest possible and you may actually have to bring your forward range in a little bit. That'll fill up your screen with more information rather than like the image on the right there where we have a very deep depth range and we're looking 100 feet out. We basically are missing half the screen. It's almost that white angled line is basically cutting off half the screen but that is just the sonar view. That's what the beam is going to look like. So to overcome that if you make the adjustments like I recommended there that will help you out and that's going to be something you're going to have to play with on the water to kind of figure that out and see what works in each situation for you. Now you might already have some Lorance gear on your boat and you want to see what Eagle Eye is com compatible with. Well, it's not compatible with any of the triple shot transducers, HDI transducers, 3-in-1 transducers, or active target transducers. The connector on the back of the Eagle Eye is completely different pin configuration than anything else, so it will not connect to any other product on the market. And then keeping with that, the transducer will not connect to any of the other displays, specifically the Eagle Line. Those displays cannot work with the Eagle Eye transducer. So how do you tell the difference between an Eagle and an Eagle Eye product? Well, right on the front, it will say Eagle Eye. You'll also have the live sonar icon view on the home screen, and then the transducer will be this triangular shaped transducer, typical of a live sonar transducer and not so much like a tr uh, traditional bullet style transducer you'd see on a transom mount. Here's a look at the keypad. It's very familiar with the Lowrance product so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this. It's basically going to have all the same buttons you're used to on a Lowrance. Um, one thing to note there is the power button will also bring up the system controls dialog so a short press on the power button will bring that up. A long press will turn it off. So if you're thinking about which Lowrance Eagle product to buy, this is just a comparison chart for you. The Eagle Eye is the only one with live imaging sonar, as you can see the icon on the bottom right. The one thing to note there about halfway down is the side scan imaging is not available on the Eagle Eye. That's only available on the Eagle 7 or 9 triple shot models. So, and again, as I mentioned, you cannot add that to the Eagle Eye. So I've briefly mentioned the charting options in this unit. It does have full GPS, built-in GPS antenna, and then certain embedded charts, and we'll get into the optional charts later on. This unit is designed to be a standalone device. It's not going to network it with anything else, uh, will not work with any other Eagle Eye or Eagle products or anything else for that matter. It is a standalone unit, so the charting that they have added to it can basically cover everything you need on your boat, all the sonar views we talked about, and then all your GPS needs will be covered with this unit. In addition to the embedded charts that are in the unit, then when they all come with a certain type of charting depending on where you are in the world and which model you're buying, you can upgrade to the CMAP Discover chart. The CMAP Reveal charts are not available. They will do Genesis Live Mapping as well. Um, you're not going to get the satellite overlay and the shaded relief. The Eagle Eye 9 is also going to be compatible with Navionics products if you choose to use those. So here's some specs on the Eagle Eye 9. Screen resolution, being that IPS screen, being super bright is really, really good. These are going to be excellent screens. Lots of capacity for waypoints and trails in the unit. The power consumption is actually, I would say, quite high for a 9-inch unit, but we're also you know, talking about a 9-inch unit with live sonar and a very bright screen. So keep that in mind. You're definitely going to want to have a good battery. That 2.9 amps there is measured at 13 volts. So obviously, as your voltage goes down, that amp draw is going to go up. You're going to want to have a battery capable of helping you out 
all day long on the water. Talked about the different sonar types it has, but one thing to notice there is the 200 foot range on basically all the sonar views so that is quite a bit less than we see with uh, most sonar views especially in that chirp mode that's something to keep in mind this is really going to be a unit for inland fishermen i don't think this is really going to be something for great lakes or coastal anglers just a couple other things i wanted to hit on that i didn't touch on in the video that you might have questions to these are updatable with a micro sd card and then the other thing with the sonar is the scout mode is not available you do need all three sonar arrays like active target 2 has in order for scout mode to work so you're just going to get forward and down with this now let's get into my opinion on this product and who it's for where it fits first thing i thought of when i heard about this product coming out was the garmin panoptics live scope lvs 12 transducer and if you don't know about that one it's basically very similar to this transducer where it just gave you those two sonar arrays. It was a, a very cut off uh, sonar image at the time when everyone was comparing it to Active Target 1 and then the LVS 32. And it was Garmin's attempt to bring a transducer into the market at a very cheap price to get live sonar out there. The problem with the Garmin one, it only worked on their higher end echo map and GPS map products at the time. So you would have to spend well over $2,000 to get a transducer that was around, I think they were around five or $600 to get that live sonar. Well, the problem was, most people who were buying those higher end units were gonna spend the $2,000 on the actual LiveScope product. So that Garmin transducer was pretty much just a flop and went away pretty quickly. And a lot of you probably haven't even heard about the LVS-12 transducer, but it's still on Garmin's website if you wanna go check it out. So I had to ask myself the question, why did Lawrence basically come out with the same thing that was a flop for Garmin? While the transducer may be very similar, the units that they work with are not. We're talking about the complete package for $9.99 US. So the problem Garmin had with their product was the units it worked with were too expensive. They didn't have an entry level product for their entry level transducer. Lowrance now has that. So with this Eagle i9, I think Lowrance has kind of solved that problem. I think this product is going to be a great one for people who haven't been able to afford live sonar in the past. Well, now it's at a, a very reasonable price point in addition to all the other features in the unit that you get. So hopefully this will open up that, um, that market to that sub, you know, $1,500 um, crowd of people who are going to be able to now get live sonar on their boat. And the other thing I think it'll do is all those people who complain that, oh, I can't compete against people with live sonar. Um, well, hopefully this helps them out a lot too, where now they have a product that is much more affordable. While it's not going to offer all the same features, it's definitely still going to be better than having nothing on your boat when it comes to live sonar. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Really appreciate you supporting and uh, take a look at the description box of the video. We'll have some links down there where you're able to uh, take more in-depth look at the specs of this product.